Hey everyone, Mike and Jason here. We're leading up to the VOD and theatrical release of Dauntless The Battle of Midway coming up on September 6th. If you look in the description below, you can see the various theaters we're going to be screening in as well as the various VOD platforms. So apparently, Dauntless is now available on Amazon for pre-order. If you click on the link below, you can pre-order the Blu-ray of Dauntless now. What you can get on that is a bunch of other behind the scenes stuff, including the building of the SPD, which you're just not going to get on YouTube. So enjoy this week's behind the scene look of Dauntless the Battle of Midway. Okay, so let's face some realities. We've got no money, so I've got to pull out as much as I can from the Garage of Doom. The good part is, I did a lot of World War II in the early 2000s, so hopefully we can get enough in here to help supplement and get some stuff going. The other problem is having done it for so many years and just bought so much shit, I have got no clue what I even got. So even on an inventory side, I should do one, but damn. But head trauma aside, at least I need to know roughly what shows I've done and where everything is. So let's get started. You know, actually a lot of the time was more spent going through and eliminating what we didn't need. In fact, it was like 100 plus degrees outside. I mean, look at me, I'm dripping sweat. So, uh, where's the camera on this thing? Right there. So, I've got some stuff here, some life vests and uh, hmm, stuff. So anyway, uh, I got a lot of stuff here on the way here, about maybe one fourth through the garage, maybe even less. But right now I got a bunch of deck crew stuff. Uh, I got life vests, got uh, you know the proper early war May West. Ooh, found some goggles. Uh, what else did we find over there? And a lot of the basic deck crew stuff, uh, flight hats, the blues, the greens, the reds, yellows, whites, and khakis. So I've got a chunk so far, but uh, yeah, heat's killing me. Uh, can't live Southern California in summer. Uh, anyway, back on to the next uh, stack. <laughs> God, it looks like there's not that much stuff in there, but you gotta remember, you've got three different sides. All of them are filled with 20 plus years of wardrobe and props. I mean, it was kind of fun, cause you know, getting to see like what we have in there combined with like Fortress and some of these leather stuff and parachutes and it just kind of sucks. Cause a lot of the stuff we had, US Army Air Corps stuff doesn't work for the US Navy. Well, it's been six and a half hours of going to the garage and luckily it was a fruitful trip. I'd say we got enough there to do about two thirds of the film. So we're definitely off to a really good start when it comes to props and wardrobe. We might actually somehow manage to stay on budget. Okay, so not as bad as one might think. We've got at least half, if not two thirds of the year wardrobe. What's left is the life vests. So we do combat and battle stations on the uh, Enterprise. We're wearing life vests not the Mae West ones. I went looking for those things years ago for a TV show and there was no reproductions of them whatsoever. What they had on eBay was like 500 bucks for one in not great condition, but that's not gonna work. Luckily, I come from a family of people who knew how to sew and my mother taught me how to sew when I was 10. I'm not very good at it and I've sewed my fingers together and it hurts like hell. But, you know what, that right there, yeah, I think I can make that into a life vest. Luckily for me, last time I was in uh, Arizona with my family, uh, my mother found a sewing machine that uh, she swears is mine. I don't remember having one, but uh, here it is, and uh, we'll put it to work. Hopefully. I was not looking forward to doing these things. Uh, I really wish we could have found someone to rent or buy them from. What you're not seeing here is just how much my cats really wanted to help. Ah, uh, Bob, yeah. The real problem with this whole thing is when everything was said and done, about two months after Jason and I were done with the movie, I went over to the prop place and was walking around and found an entire stack of World War II K-pop life vests. And they rented them for 15 bucks a pop. It was killing me the fact that I asked, they just didn't know what they had. And when I went looking, they just had the 60s stuff. So basically spending two days doing all of this for what I could have spent maybe 35 to 45 bucks to rent. Yeah, I, I was not a happy camper. If this is boring to watch, imagine how tedious and awful it is to do four of these in a row. Yeah. God, it's boring in time lapse. I luckily managed to not sew my fingers or bleed at all on these, which is uh, a change for me. As Jason would probably attest. 
Okay, everybody, I'm trying to get as historically accurate as possible in our color, but since I couldn't find Twill in the exact right color, Amazon Prime to the rescue again. Got some uh, cotton Twill. Seems to be the right material. Um, just, of course, the wrong color. So that, combined with some Rit dye, will hopefully give us uh, some stuff that gets us a little bit closer to the color we want. So if you haven't dyed anything before, it's kind of a pain in the ass. You gotta take everything off, get it wet, get it soaked, then you have to boil the water and boil everything just to help open up the pores in the material, I think. Could be talking about my ass here, I don't know. Uh, and then the, basically the dye soaks within it, and then when everything's said and done, you drain it, you stream it off, and what you have is, you know, instead of white twill, blue twill. Yeah, it looks to be about the right color of the jackets we got. That should hopefully sun fade out to a different, decent color. So, yeah, we'll, uh, Get this outside to dry and uh, get moving on to the next phase of the vests. Indie filmmaking. Really glamorous. I think Spielberg was sewing his own props. Yeah, I'm just actually curious during the point where he was in that low, low budget phase of his, if he was actually doing stuff like this. 